Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Blood Strike on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Blood Strike and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Blood Strike. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all folks, to get started we need to open our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to that URL that I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, simply because I provided a link in the video description and the first pinned comment. Once clicking on that link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game Bloodstrike on our PC. As you can discover here we have a number of pros of preferring the emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Bloodstrike by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. We then click on it. And the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file, OK, so we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the system. We have said yes. I minimize the browser to view the installation software much better. The installer is straightforward. It includes two options, install and setup path. I will show you what setup path does indeed. We basically just simply click on it. And therefore we observe that we have here the path in which the emulator is going to be installed. If we would like to change for better this folder we have got to click on that, browse, option, and we opt for another directory and install the emulator specifically where we want. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. Then, I click on back. So I click on install. Voila! The installation commences and it is going to progress together with the download of those megabytes which are shown on this computer screen. At the time you download it, it may be a little more or less megabytes. The download speed may go faster or slower, based on your connection and according to the speed capacity of the emulator web servers. Today they are going very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can observe, down here, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right and when it actually reaches the finish, the emulator can be started for the first time. The truth is the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as can be seen, it has made two app icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is definitely the only one we're interested in. Anytime we want to start Blood Strike on the PC, we twice click on this specific software icon and therefore start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we do the next phase, that is a requirement, and that is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To do that we will go here to, System Apps, we click on and we will click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is launched. In this case we need to log on. At this point when we are right here, we must begin doing this following step that is absolutely mandatory. So that we click on, Sign In. At this moment it says, Checking Info. It may in some cases get stuck in, Checking Info, and so it fails to progress. If that's the case, you can try to connect to your account after a few hours but it will surely most probably be resolved. At this moment we are going to type our login name and password. The email must be a Gmail email address as well as its matching password. For instance you make use of the very same email you're using at this moment in your YouTube account. So I am going to enter my data and I will return after I have completed it. That's it, data inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and offering us their tools. We can consent to them all by simply clicking on, I agree. 
following it offers us to backup to the google cloud you might leave it selected and this will build a backup of your data on this device to google drive i am not going to check it you can make use of this feature if you like we mouse click on accept google play store is launched without need to open it manually and completely on its own to set up the app game we must go to the android emulator desktop by simply clicking that app icon indicated green colored Right now that we are on the desktop of that emulator for Android, we observe that we come with here the install application option. We mouse click on that button. There we have the video game. Let's quickly then click here on the install link that I'm just showing now in green color. And this will start the setup. Right now it will download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game app. It typically takes a bit of time or perhaps it may be almost immediate. This all depends on our own internet access. It has already finished installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this specific option that I am presenting in green, in order to start Bloodstrike for the very first time. We're at present on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're preparing to click on the new Bloodstrike icon which has been provided. This game is launched for the first time. There we get it, I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should comment on the sound level of that emulator. This is here, we have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this manner we do not count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And to enjoy the experience to the max, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is the very first one, we mouse click on this particular icon which I am identifying in green color. And the screen is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. In the event that we desire to play the video game using all the screen, we select this particular application icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen mode. To get out of the 100% screen setting, hit the F11 key. Then we would just play in standard computer screen setting. At present, I am going to explain you the computer keyboard mapping that is quite enjoyable. That step we will probably be in a position to use the video game more easily. The first thing is to click this computer keyboard icon. And here you will be able to complete the required configuration settings. I will put the standard settings, however if you intend to adjust it, you may very well achieve it without having problem. As you can see, the emulator is completely in our language. In some cases it happens that your emulator is started in the improper language, such as, in Japanese. And then to set it in the correct language we go there to the cogwheel. Then here throughout additional options, we click on the language drop down. We should determine the language we prefer, German, Mandarin, and so forth. After the language is chosen, we should save, the emulator would restart, and the game, the next time we run it, will as well be in the picked language. At this point, there is another point that we will need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google Mail telling that a completely new equipment has been connected to this Google account. It definitely will ask us if we are the individuals who have connected that device. Yes, we shouldn't be troubled, considering the fact that emulator is simulating in Google Android smartphone or tablet. In order to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Let's go here to the, model, option. And right here we notice that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for my training. I anticipate you liked it, specifically that everyone thought it was informative. If that's sir, allow it a good like, subscribe, and if you have feedback, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. Just click on any of those online videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the next online videos. Bye.